What I is too. going on? I was kind of in a goofy mood today, and I and I I offered this one up. Uh, as you may have noticed, there are some big things happening in our country right now. There's a pandemic what? that's projected to take 200,000 American lives by the fall. A national debate about race and policing, where the Senate stands at the center of attempted legislative action, record-setting unemployment, massive companies teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. And in the meanwhile, Senator Ted Cruz doesn't seem to think there's anything better for him to do than to get into a Twitter spat with actor Ron Perlman, a.k.a. Hellboy, from the 2004 film of the same name uh, and its 2008 sequel. And Sons of Anarchy. Or America's Caveman, also known for the movie Quest for Fire. Very interesting. I waited on him while I was in college. Um, oh, you did? A little FYI, yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> my brush for fame. Wait, wait, did he tip <laughs> you? Did he tip? Oh, definitely. Yeah, he Good. tipped me. Good, all right, all right, all right. Ron yeah. Perlman, you get a pass with me, buddy. All right. <laughs> That's Good. right. Uh, um, so anyway, hey, so at least you weren't giving him a McDonald's meal. That would have been a travesty. Yeah, and I didn't poison him either. But he wasn't wearing a cop outfit, so... <laughs> the, the, the story could have been wholly different. <laughs> Things so, could have been uh, this, 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 this never would have happened. <laughs> yeah. So began one of the weirdest episodes and uh, one of the weirdest years in politics ever. So Perlman was bashing Representative Jim Jordan for his looks uh, in, in a spat around the uh, soccer team no longer being able to take a knee during the national anthem. And then Ted Cruz decided to get in on the action. And he says, quote, listen, Hellboy, you talk a good game when you got Hollywood makeup and stuntman. But I'll bet. Ten, I'll bet you $10,000 to the non-political charity of your choice that you couldn't last five minutes in the wrestling ring with Jim Jordan without getting pinned. You up for it? Or does the publicist say it's too risky? That's such so, a hate. I love, so, so I love Jim, that he's like, why don't you, I'm such a strong guy. Why don't you don't go wrestle someone yeah, that's not me? I love it. Yeah, so, so he's sending somebody else it. to fight him. Oh my God! And then and then calling him like a pansy or saying that it's too risky for him, which is I think is so ironic and hilarious. Uh -huh. And so Jordan, Jim Jordan, a little backstory for those of you who don't remember, maybe don't know, he was a collegiate wrestler, a wrestler, and coached wrestling at Ohio State University for almost a decade in the '80s and '90s. Uh, but he was also accused by six former OSU wrestlers of being aware of sexual misconduct complaints made against the team's doctor and Jordan has denied knowing of those allegations. So I can't imagine that Jim Jordan was very pleased uh, when Cruz reopened, like my, <laughs> reopened oh, that conversation. That's my take on that. It's like, oh, I'm sure he was so thrilled. Yeah. He's like, Ted, <laughs> what the hell? So he should have he uh, written back to Cruz and been like, stop trying to hand me off to an alleged kitty diddler. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jim Jordan wasn't the, he just let it happen. But hey, if, so, if, if, you know. if nothing matters and Ted Cruz can throw you off to some other person, and when he says non political, I want him to come back and say, I'm going to wrestle you, yeah. uh, but I'm going to want that money for Black Lives Matter so, in which your is name. basically what he said. So, so Ron Perlman said, I tell you what, Teddy Boy, since mentioning Jim Jordan in wrestling is problematic, <laughs> why don't we just say, Fuck him and make it you and me, he tweeted. Oh, come on, right. I'll give fifty I'll give fifty thousand dollars to Black Lives Matter and you can keep all the taxpayer money you were thinking of spending. <laughs> so so, <laughs> Which so I love. So here's Zing. my response. So, so here's my response. Ron Perlman, you know, uh, if uh, Ted Boy ever decides to man up, yeah, you fight him, but you fight him ECW, extreme championship wrestling style. That means barbed wire, steel chairs, go ahead, fight dirty. I'll be the special guest referee. I'll turn a blind eye. Go ahead, bring whatever you want. You can bring some backup too. It'll be fun. Yeah. The whole world will love it because Ted Cruz deserves a five finger slap across his smug face. Oh. Ron Perlman, make it happen. And if not, yes. you run up to him and you do it yourself. Okay? I would say that we need to make sure that the front row is just lookalikes of um, uh, the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think he looks like Lemure from uh, Beauty and the Beast, the candle stick mm. with the runny wax face. So anyway, Cruz did respond and he said, I get it, you're rich, but apparently soft. You sure seem scared to wrestle Jordan, whom you keep insulting. Can't take the heat, need to get a manicure. Ted, you're the one responded. instigating the fight. He's the one instigating the fight. Keep bringing up Jim Jordan in wrestling. It's which hilarious. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, Ted seriously. Cruz, what the fuck? <laughs> seriously, seriously, seriously. Okay, Ted Cruz is saying Ron Perlman is a punk because he doesn't want to fight another guy, even though he's even though he's instigating a fight with Ron Perlman. 
I mean, Ted Cruz, are you that much of a little bitch? I mean, are you that? I mean, yes. No wonder. Answer, no wonder yes. because Enter no wonder Donald bitch. Trump smacked him around. Well, you know, and, and so like, so like, and called his wife like, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, he did. And Trump said he'd spill the beans on his. And remember, Ted Cruz looks like his kids don't even love him. Oh yeah, remember that? Love. No one loves Ted Cruz. Every, Nobody loves. Nobody loves Everyone loves hates Ted, Ted Cruz. Cruz. Everybody hates Ted Cruz. That in should fact, be a sitcom for yeah, sure. Yeah, everybody hates Ted Cruz. Like, <laughs> and, 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 every scene, and at he the just end of, looks like a sad, no, no, deflated at, blobfish. At, at the end of every episode. Of everybody hates Ted Cruz, he's crying in his bed alone. <laughs> oh, and then, and then like the, and then like that. the Koch brothers like materialize in front of him. Here's a million dollars. Do what we tell you. Is Can Ray like, Romano be in it? I just really want Ray Romano back in an everybody loves type segment. I think he really do uh, really You know really what? Well. His voice annoys me. Oh, no, Ray, we should Ray, Ray, Ray Romano. Romano. Yeah, that's I, not he, Ray Romano. That's like more of a he, he, someone he, else. He, he just he just annoys me. You know what we should do? We should put Ted Cruz in a, a show that's like. Um, uh, uh, what's the one that um? What am I thinking of it? The one that um. Larry da- oh, Davis. Y- 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 the you show. know the thing. You know the, the show. Thing. The you show. know that really popular what? show. What show? It has the. Doo, 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 uh, is that Curb Your Enthusiasm? Thank you. Yeah. It, we about? should put yeah. Ted Cruz and Curb Your Enthusiasm, except we don't have any good writers writing it. Ugh. No. 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 Come on. You don't. You don't want to ruin that show. That show's great. No. But Ron Perlman, you are here. I'm gonna make an executive decision. Ron Perlman, you are the official heavyweight champion. Not only did you smack around Ted Cruz, but you smacked around his champion, too. Uh, that wrestler with a problematic history, or Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan. Yeah, Jim Jordan. You know, that guy's got, uh, got some problems of his own. So okay. uh, Ron Perlman, I think we all can agree, is the world heavyweight How long champion. is your video that you want to play next? Uh, it's it's going to be too long, Ron. We're not gonna okay, so we're going to have to do you, it, Do so. you guys want to know who else also doesn't like Ted Cruz? Who else? Just to like? really bring it, proceed it back home. Known Antifa. <laughs> uh, where oh my God, Baron oh. Trump? Yes, everyone remember, remember. Antifa is a uniform, yes. not an organization. So there's your Antifa member right there. Let's get. Oh, you know what? Let's get that guy to fight. Ted Trump, Cruz. <laughs> Trump is using his exceptional large hands to block the cameras from seeing his son. Well, you can't see. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Wait, wait! I, I figured out. Wait, wait. Ready? I got. Th- ready. <laughs> Perlman needs to tweet out to Trump. To let to officiate this happen, you know Trump would do anything to oh, shit on yeah, Ted yeah. Cruz. Oh yeah, do it, do yeah. it. So have Trump Definitely. order it to happen. You know, what, then we're good. Here, here's the thing too. Uh, shout out to Ron Perlman. I, I don't think you'll ever see this video, but we would like to have you on as a special guest co-host for oh, our yeah. show. Can you yes, guys just not, 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 not just guest a whole lot, please? but to be a co-host, a special one-time co-host for our list. Oh, that'd be yeah. so cool. That would be cool. So we, we, we have we have no money. And then so, afterwards, so we there can we get go. Baron right. Trump. I Ron, really, Ron, really, Ron. really want to talk to Baron Trump. I'm, there's a GoFundMe that is set up to free Baron Trump from the clutches of the <laughs> Trump family. I am so hell-bent on b- having a conversation with this boy. Okay, well, uh, it looks like i got to set up a, an elite special forces team to free <laughs> I wonder if he has Baron another Trump. son, if he's going to have Earl Trump. Uh, I don't know. <laughs>